Hello, hello again, lovely people of the internet world. So it is the fourth episode this week of my pro wrestling training vlog, courtesy of Velvet Vaughan Williams. Um, and yeah, um, I was training again with PPW yesterday, again with Liam, um, and it was again a really, really good uh, workout. Worked on a few more things that are a bit more chain wrestling, which I'll pop up. We also went into um, a back suplex. <laughs> And one of my favourite moves of all time, big up Jake the Snake Roberts. Uh, we did some DDTs, which was lots of fun. Um, it was interesting though doing the DDT because I was thinking, uh, you know, there's going to be this like really technical way of being able to take a D DDT and all those things. And um, basically, I was just told jump at the floor. <laughs> Not in such a way. Um, you've got to use kind of like your forearms, which luckily, um, walking stereotype, I used to do a lot of yoga. I still do some yoga. Um, so the you know, like headstands in yoga, you do use your forearms. Um, so I'm quite used to doing that, but jumping at the floor with my forearms and trying not to hit my head. Um, yeah, you got to commit to it, and it was great. <laughs> Um, but this week I unfortunately got hurt for the first time. It's not an injury or anything. Um, I just took, um, I didn't commit to a bump. I was, you know, I was being shown how to do a club on the back. Um, and yeah, just didn't really commit to the bump going down. Um, you'll see in the beat down section, I'll put up a little bit of that because we did a bit more work on uh, building heat and um, as a heel beating down the baby face. I've got one. Two. Just a slobber and I just think it looks like it's just going to be like that. That's where that burning glass was coming handy. Yeah. You need some drill. Empty, empty oil. Yep. 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 That was, I forgot what it was now. We jumped out. And there I took a took one of them and committed to the bump and it was fine. Uh, but then yeah, I was showing being shown kind of afterwards how to do it and I kind of just went down on my knee.
Um, and at the time, you can see I just shake my knee off and that, and you got the adrenaline pumping and all that sort of things. And it didn't really bother me. I went on. I was I said we're doing back suplexes, we're doing DDTs, we're doing loads of stuff. Um, and it wouldn't really bother me that much. It was a bit painful, but not that much. Uh, but yeah, then in the evening time, when the adrenaline worn off and the swelling came up, um, yeah, it's been quite painful. And I work in a in a warehouse, so again, what I can say is I work in a vegan and vegetarian warehouse. Um, so a lot of it's lifting sacks and taking orders and things, and um, so it kind of affected my work today. So it's the first kind of reality check that I am, you know, 30 years old, my body is a little broken down. Um, so yes, yeah, that's one thing I've really got to think about now. But it also showed me a beautiful way, um, part of PPW as well, because um, uh, one of my training partners, actually from the first video, I think it was here, uh, Clayton, um, he actually made a, a bit of a cameo in the DDT video. He just wandered around with his sunglasses on, it's fabulous. Um, but I, I mentioned that I kind of hurt my knee and I could use some knee pads and um, he just went out to his car and got me a spare pair of knee pads when you can have these. Um, I've only known the guy for a few weeks and I just thought it was really lovely thing to do and it just shows the camaraderie they have at PBW. The camaraderie that I keep hearing that is very common in the wrestling industry, wrestling business and yeah, it's really lovely to um, to have had my first kind of taste of that. Um, speaking about the wider wrestling business, I uh, attended my first show post lockdown. Um, I went to the Lancashire Wrestling Federation Slamaganza uh, last Friday. I actually took my dad there. Um, he's not really into the wrestling, but I thought I'd take him. He lived nearby. And it was a really, really good show. Um, headlining, headlined by Reynaldo versus Classic Car Clinch. And um, yeah, there was a bit of a heel turn in there. Spoilers, do apologise. But yeah, there was, they were busted out some fab, uh, incredible moves. There was one winged angels being busted out. There was a few Horkamranas. That's us. There was... Um, yeah, there was just some re and really good technical wrestling as well. There was, I was very, very impressed with a lot of the, a lot of the members of the roster, and just the show as a whole was really, really good. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed it, and it was great just to get back watching some wrestling. So woo. Um, so yeah, that'll kind of leave it for today. Um, I'm gonna be doing a bit of a promo, a bit more of a longer one than I did last week during the next week or so. Um, so I'm going to put that out as a standalone video because I've got my, my best friend did cinematography at university. So I'm going to get him to try and, um, yeah, make me look pretty. <laughs> um, so I'll put that out later on. Um, and yeah, again, if you've got any questions about any of this or, um, yeah, anything about PPW or anything about how it's been to get into wrestling and um, or had any questions about the journey at all just chuck them down in the comment section i'll try and get answered to them um yeah anyway i hope you're having a beautiful day peace and love